Hey everybody, it's Daniel Soto down at Air Urban Fitness. We had some requests since it's the holiday season and everybody's going out of town now. People are asking us what is uh, what would be a good thing to do for a workout if you don't have any gym equipment or you're stuck in the hotel room. Well, I put something together for you. It's going to be about a 10 minute warm up, about 5 minutes of core, and the other roughly 30 minutes is going to be a workout. So. Um, I'm going to show you and in the description I'll write the sets and the reps and other details. I hope you really like it. Alright everybody, here we go. We're going to go ahead and hit our warm up now. We're going to start out with a uh, child's pose with a T-spine rotation. Your elbow goes in between your knees. As you open up, Press your elbow into the ground. The next one is a single knee A press. Okay, so squeeze my glute, I move my hips forward, I bring my hands and my elbows as far back as I can. And I touch my biceps to my ears. Remember to get your biceps to your ears. Okay? The next two movements are going to be something you're familiar with if you've taken class of air before. One of them is pulling your knees up to your chest. So, Make sure to come up off your heel. Once again, it helps with balance if you move forward. The next one, Frankenstein walks. Now, if you don't have room to walk, you can just do it in place. Okay, we have two more movements to complete the warm up. So, we in a nice wide stance. The important thing is that our feet don't spin out like that. We want to keep it forward, okay? Now, as, as I bend my right knee, I set my right hip back. Touch the ground. Stand all the way up and stretch. Touch the ground. Stand all the way up and stretch. I see my feet stay flat, my trailing leg stays locked out. Move right after that is a reverse lunge with a rotation, okay? Now, as I set my left foot back, okay, I set my left hand up and my right hand around. And then I do the opposite on the other side. Making sure to get a really good rotation. Alright, so those are the last two moves of your warm up. Once again, please look in the description for the reps and sets. Okay, we're here doing four now. Uh, the core is going to be comprised of four moves, okay? I'm going to give you an easy, medium, and hard for your core, okay? It's easy. And here's hard. Each movement counts as one rep. The next thing that we're doing is windshield wipers. So I'm going to lay out palms up, okay? My feet are going to be above my hips. If that's too much, just bend your knees. Guys, okay, so this is easy. This is medium. I'm 
make sure your head stays on the ground and your shoulder blades stay on the ground and your palms stay up. This is hard. So, if I take my feet to my right, my right hand's down. And then I switch. Make sure your shoulder blades stay on the ground. I'm gonna do a single legged bridge after that. And I switch. Then after that, I do both legs. Make sure to squeeze your butt, drive through your heels, and open up the front of your hips.
press up. Now, when you get to, you know, if you're doing 20 reps or something, make sure to get up slowly because the blood rushing to your head, rushing away from your head, can make you a little bit dizzy. Um, the next thing that we're going to do is split stance squat. Okay? A split stance squat is not a lunge, okay? It's not this. That's a lunge, a stationary lunge. Okay? A split stance squat, your heel and your toe are going to be in line. My back heel is going to be up. 70% of my weight is going to be on the front leg. Okay? Because my uh, feet are so close, it's going to get a lot, be a lot deeper. Now, another thing that I want to show you about this is that I don't want you to bounce off your joints. This is good. This is not good. Make sure you watch your knees and how they track. Okay. After that, we're going to go into a regular standard front lunge. Um, you're going to do the split stand squat on both legs. And then you're going to go ahead and move on into a regular standard lunge. Now, we did the reverse lunge on the first one legs, okay? So make sure we stay upright. It's much easier to fold forward on a front lunge. So, try to remember to lean back. Okay? Stay nice and tall. And you're going to hit your front lunges. Um, after that, we have the uh, ice skater lunge, okay? On the ice skater lunge, I'll give you an easy, medium, and hard. Here's the easy. Okay, here's the medium. And then here's the hard. The difference between the medium and the hard Aside from the foot being up in the air, it's just the depth and the explosion. I touch the ground, I bend my knee, I jump off. So, what that looks like, okay, you can see that I'm bent. And that's how I'm going to do an ice skater lunge. The last move in the complex is called the Cobra. It's not quite the Cobra from yoga, but it's similar. I'm going to take my thumb and rotate it up and back. And you want to see your shoulders Move down and away from your ears. What we don't want to do is this. Okay? We want to focus on the upper back. Pay attention to my thumbs. Okay, we're going to do two things for the uh, cool down or for the stretches. We're just going to do a pigeon and we're going to do a hip flexor stretch on each side. So, with a pigeon, okay, we want to make sure that we try to keep this foot flex to protect the knee. And we want to try to get this shin parallel to the head of the mat. It's not going to really happen but you might be able to do it. So, um, you want to keep this head down on the ground. Okay? And if you can relax enough, you can come down to your elbows. So what that looks like from this view, okay? Foot stays flexed. Okay. If you can, you can shin parallel to your mat. 
My right hip is down. And then you're going to relax into it. Alright? Okay. After that, we're going to hit a hip flexor stretch. Um, so what that looks like, okay, is one knee down, one knee up. I'm going to tuck my tailbone. I'm going to move my hips forward, okay? And then I'm going to reach up. My right knee's down. My right hand is up. And I'm going to bend into the stretch. So, what that looks like from the side profile. Okay. My hips go forward. Okay. Tuck my tailbone. And I reach up and stretch. The stretch should be done for about 20 to 30 seconds. Um, I hope you like the whole workout. Please read the description that goes with this. Okay, uh, that way you, you understand everything and I'll put a lot more detail in there. I hope you really enjoy it. It's, uh, I did the workout yesterday. It really, really gives you a good pump on your legs. It's a nice solid routine um, that will keep your heart rate going. And I'll probably put some videos later on with some travel friendly equipment like maybe a gallon or two of water, a chair, an interval timer, and a rubber band or something. A big rubber band, not like a little but um, please stay posted for those and let me uh, have some feedback on this current body weight only workout that's very, very travel